Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday and it's April. <laughs> I start every weekly vlog off by going, can you believe it's this month already or this day already? But like seriously, how is it April? I have got up and ready. I want to tell you a little something this morning. I just tried the vegan Alpro yogurt because last week in the comments of my vlog, you guys were like, oh, if you're trying to cut out dairy and drinks, why don't you cut out all that yogurt that you're eating? And I was like, so true, I'll try vegan yogurt because I'm open to suggestions. Although personally, I think it's actually milk, not dairy, like cheese and everything things it's fine with me it's just milk i just can't really gel with milk so i tried vegan yogurt this morning i'm sorry i just really didn't like it like physically i couldn't even eat it it's actually made me feel a little bit sick because the consistency i think it was probably because i got a coconut flavored yogurt and i don't love coconut flavored yogurt even when it's normal yogurt but yeah my breakfast this morning was not nice so i've had a cereal bar and now i'm heading off to uni it is actually my last week of uni before easter and it's kind of the last week of my course like just full stop because my deadline is when i get back after easter but if i'm honest we kind of need everything done this week so that's kind of strange but yeah i'm gonna set off now heading to the gym today as well and i will see what else happens we might be going out tonight to prism for the last time before easter kind of tired kind of not feeling it but i think we might be doing it so yeah i'll bring you along I have just got back from uni. I've been to the gym, prod myself for going, getting the week off to the start that I wanted, and I'm now back at my flat. I actually just popped into a printer's on the way home because um, basically my course deadline is the end of this month, but obviously I break up for Easter on Friday this week, and I would love to get all of my work done before easter so that when i go back all i have to do is like put up my exhibition and stuff yeah so i popped into a printer's basically i'm making like an indesign photo book um if you don't know what indesign is it's an adobe software that allows you to like put a book together basically uh, look at all my baby hairs that are super sweaty from the gym so yeah i just popped into a printer's called hobbs which were super helpful and i think i'm gonna aim to get my book printed on thursday i've got a little bit of tweaking and adjustments and obviously like final things to do but i think thursday should be okay so i'm gonna get in the shower and wash my hair because we are going out tonight we're going to prism it's got like it's quids night on a monday where basically you get in for a pound so yeah we're going to that tonight and it's kind of like the last night out with my flat before easter and then possibly one of the last nights out with my flat generally i'm not really sure because obviously my course ends super early but yeah right now i'm just gonna have a little drink and then wash my hair um, and i'm gonna make an omelette for tea very excited about that This smells so good, honestly. I've put some herbs and spices into it and it just honestly makes it smell so good. I have also cut up some spinach and I'm gonna pop on here probably about like a third of the packet of rice. I know rice is a weird thing to have with omelette, but I just didn't fancy like omelette and chips or omelette and any other form of potato. So I thought rice was a good like carb alternative. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. It smells so good. Okay, so I just finished up my tea. I've washed my hair since I last like spoke to you face to face. Um, and I'm now gonna start getting ready for my night out. But before I do, I just wanted to show you these gorgeous little phone loops, which the company Phone Loops sent out to me. Let me show you one second. So basically they're like little strips of patterned fabric that you can put around your phone. I've got one on mine now and it's kind of like a pop socket in that you can hold your phone with it but it's a lot less intrusive and so much easier to put on. So basically this isn't an ad, it's not sponsored by them, they just gifted me these but at the moment they've got 50% off all of them. They're really really cool. Um, I'm going to leave a link to them down below. Their social media handle is on screen here but I'm also going to link their website down below but I absolutely love them. I've got this cute banana print one, I've got this tropical print one, this other tropical print, I've got lemons and I love this one as well that says but first coffee very me but my personal favorite is the one i put on my phone case this watermelon print admittedly it doesn't go with the phone case phone case if you're wondering is from coconut lane but yeah i just love these so thank you so much to phone loops for sending these out to me really big fan and yeah i'll leave a link below because i think they're really cool i've never seen anything like it before and they're really easy to like put onto your phone case and a little bit safer when you're carrying your phone around but yeah i just thought i would quickly show you those i really like them so thank you for sending me them um i'm now gonna start getting ready i had my omelet for tea but i'm not gonna lie my room stinks of egg now and I don't even know how, like I haven't cooked it in here. But I think I might wear my trousers and a crop top tonight. I'm kind of tempted to wear my jeans. Is it bad to wear jeans on a night out? So I have just got ready. I've actually done a makeup look that I'm gonna, well, 
I'm gonna post it to Instagram, I haven't posted it yet. I'm actually not gonna wear this lipstick out because this look looked great when I like took this off my shoulder and you just saw the top half of me. Um, but the red doesn't go with the yellow. In fact, I'm actually getting Snow White vibes massively, which would be cool if I was going to like a fancy dress party, but I'm not. So I'm gonna take this off and pop a nude lipstick on and then I'm gonna curl some bits of my hair, but I'm kind of digging the like, big 80s vibe so i'm just gonna leave it plus i'm trying to use as little heat on it as possible however the lipstick i have used i absolutely love these these were sent out to me by the brand lipstick queen um i'm gonna link their instagram below as well wow really need to sort my hair out but yeah they sent me a few this is the nude version this is what i'm gonna put on after i've taken the red off um, just for something a little bit more neutral and so that when it comes off I don't have to worry about reapplying it But yeah, I really like these. There's a couple. The thing I like particularly is this which is the lip scrub But it's like a lip balm. So you put it on it feels like a lip balm, but it also has a scrub applicator I'll show you. There you go. Yeah I don't know if you can see the little bristles But it, it feels really nice when you're putting it on your lips and it feels kind of like how just a lip scrub that you get in like a pot does kind of like rough um, but yeah, makes your lips feel super good. I'm definitely gonna put a few actual curls through my hair because I've just let it dry naturally and this isn't a good look. But yeah, I have gone for this top, which is like kind of off the shoulder, kind of not. Um, this is from Boohoo. Again, I think this cost me like five pounds from Boohoo. I've had it a while. I don't wear it very often because when I wear it outside in the summer, this attracts bugs like no other, so. We are now having pre's in my flat. I've got my dressing gown on because it's so cold in my kitchen. Um, so I'll film when we're out on my phone. I look rough as heck. It's two in the morning and I've come back to my flat because I just really don't feel well. I'm literally not even drunk. Before I went out I started getting the worst sore throat and then now I've had a couple of drinks. I honestly I can't swallow. I can't hear either because it whenever I get a sore throat it also really obviously it connects to your ears. Um, and I feel really awful and my flatmate was really kind and was like do you want me to go back with you and I was like honestly yeah I think I'll be okay in the morning uh, whenever I get a cold or like any form of illness it goes straight to my throat I don't get like a cough or a bunged up nose or a headache or anything like that I just literally get a really sore throat I'm just gonna go to sleep it is like almost what time even is it I don't even know like 20 to 3 but all my other friends that we were there with we ended up being in a bit of a bigger group because there was other people in the club that we knew they're all still there my flatmate shared a taxi with me so I didn't come back by myself which was so kind of him and yeah I'm gonna catch up with you in the morning when hopefully I'll be able to swallow again and breathe I love that <laughs> I have felt better and looked better, but specifically felt better. My throat is so sore, like, well, you can kind of hear. I don't really know why. I don't know where this has come from. This time yesterday, I literally felt fine. Um, but I have just got up and ready. It is almost 11 o'clock, and I'm going to go and meet um, Eleanor in Wear the Spoons for breakfast, I think. Well, I'll say breakfast. It's barely even breakfast time. I also really need to buy some cold and flu tablets and some lozenges or something like that let me guys know let me guys know wow my brain just isn't functioning let me know down in the comments what you guys think is the best solution for a sore throat because i feel like everybody has different things i've tried all the classic stuff like gargling salt water and like honey and lemons but i just don't really know what actually works and what doesn't and what's a myth and what's not because i feel like a lot of it's just like old wives tales but honestly my tonsils just kill i don't think i've got tonsillitis which is a good thing fingers crossed it stays that way um but yeah my throat is not feeling great neither neither's my hair but yeah it was a nice evening last night like i had a nice time until i started to like not be able to swallow or breathe properly and then i was like no i'm done here so i'm actually heading home this evening anyway i think i mentioned this because i've got the dentist tomorrow i'm back in beverly and and also a few other things that I need to do in Beverly tomorrow and I'm off on Wednesdays and if I'm honest I just really want my own bed like I just don't feel great hopefully I get better as the day goes on you know how it's kind of worse when you wake up I'm kind of hoping it's like a that kind of situation great <laughs> I have come in to these two deliveries. This one's from my management and I think I know who this one's from, but I'm going to open them up now. Oh wow. This looks so cool. I'll go through it after I've opened it. It looks like something has leaked though. 
Um, I don't really want that shimmery powder all over my room, so I'm gonna open this really carefully and then get back to you. So there is such a mixture of things. This is from the brand Yes2. This is kindly been sent out to me from Topshop. They're all covered in the smashed eyeshadow, um, which is sadly out of these two Lottie London eyeshadow palettes. They still look absolutely gorgeous, so this one has made it here safely. That would have been such a gorgeous palette if it didn't look like that, but thank you so much to those brands. And then this is by Winky Looks. So for a more in-depth open opening of all of this head over to my Instagram stories um, because I am about to like do a little unboxing um, it will have already gone up you've probably already seen it but definitely stay tuned over my Instagram for stuff like this in a bit more detail wow wow is all I can say thank you so much GHD this is insane GHD is my favorite hair brand of all time and oh yes yes basically okay guys it's now a lot a lot later on i haven't filmed anything tom came over the reason i haven't filmed anything quite honestly is because we just like slept and then ate lasagna and then slept again <laughs> mood i'm feeling a little bit better i think it is because i had like a two hour sleep but now i'm slightly scared i'm not gonna sleep during the night but yeah i just thought i would update you so i'm gonna have a really early night i think maybe watch some gavin and stacy or something like that i've cried my eyeliner off from having a nap i've definitely just looked better generally but something i do love is the color of this top i really think this is my color like i just love this color um so yeah don't have much else to update you on tomorrow potentially should be a really really good day i actually have a lot planned so i need to make sure i'm feeling better but yeah right now my throat is actually feeling a lot better than it was earlier so fingers crossed a good night's sleep and a lot of oranges is gonna it's gonna help <laughs> So I forgot to vlog this before I started eating it, but I made myself scrambled egg on toast. I'm really bugged up, I sound so bugged up. Good morning, guys. I look so much more alive than the last time I spoke to you. It's now Wednesday morning, it is 20 past nine. I've just got up and ready. Um, my eyeliner is very uneven. You know when you have those days and your winged eyeliner just really doesn't match? That's me today. But I have a super busy day today, and the reason I'm actually back in Beverly for like today other than it being wednesday and i'm off uni anyway is for two reasons one i'm going to the dentist later this evening my throat feels a lot better so i think i'm gonna go because obviously like you only go to the dentist like once every six months or is it even like once every year so like i might as well just go you know what i mean also this morning i have an interview so i've spoken to you guys about this before but it actually got rescheduled so basically i applied for a lot of work experience when I was like trying to work out what I wanted to do with my life and the other week when I was in uni I was like right I actually need to get something sorted for like next academic year because what am I doing? Um, so I applied to loads and loads of radio stations for work experience and the first one that got back to me was actually my local radio station so in 10 minutes I'm leaving for an interview there I mean I feel like you're meant to look a little bit more put together it's not really an interview it's just like a casual chat so I thought I'd just wear this jumper but I don't know if I should look smarter than this but never mind but yeah I don't really know what it's for other than like literally he just said come down and we'll chat about work experience over the summer radio is something I'm really interested in and like like voice broadcasting obviously it's quite similar to what I do now but yeah but that is my first point of call and then I'm also meeting some of my friends because all of my school friends are back for Easter now because they've all broken up like a week or two weeks before I break up so I'm meeting Erin which is so exciting and I'm meeting Izzy for some lunch pretty much straight after that so I need to get off I will let you know how it goes I'm not really nervous because I feel like it's going to be really casual if I turn up and the setting is really formal and I'm really awkward I'll be like oh I wasn't prepared for this right now I feel like it's going to be okay so my dad's going to give me a lift there and we shall see we shall see what happens I am now back and it actually went so well so hopefully fingers crossed over the summer I'm going to be working like voluntarily at basically my local radio station which is really cool um, and it's pretty much exactly what I wanted so I'm really really happy about that thank you guys that helped helped me like that live locally because there was a lot of you that messaged me and like helped me out getting the right email addresses obviously knowing who to contact is really difficult but right now I am currently packaging up some things from my depop with my mum so we've got to be honest most of it has sold but there's just a few little bits left that need sending out so I'm gonna pop into town and post those when I go when I go and meet Erin and Izzy which is in like half an hour so I'm gonna just kill two bears with one stone go to the post office and ship out my depop stuff that needs to go go out basically yeah most of it i've already posted there's just i think like three things to post and then i think my depop still has like three or four items left on it if you guys are interested although i understand why they are left because they are like the slightly 
weirder <laughs> items. All packaged up and ready to go. Thank you so much, by the way, if you've bought anything off my Depop. Just tied my hair up, I was concentrating, but I'm about to head out now. My friend Izzy's gonna pick me up. We're gonna go into town for some food, aren't we, Lottie? I didn't film anything. I'm such a bad vlogger. It was literally because I haven't seen my friends, well, I've seen Izzy, but I haven't seen Erin. If you guys have watched my vlogs for a while, you'll know Erin has been like my best friend for like the longest time. I haven't seen her since like January, so we're just catching up. Didn't really feel like vlogging, so I'm really, really sorry. I will vlog tonight. I'm going out to the cinema tonight with my friend Ailey back in Leeds. When I get back, I'm going pretty much straight to the cinema and for food with her, so I will vlog that. I know I, otherwise I've just been in my bedroom all day. I'm currently waiting to hop on a phone call, but I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't really know what it's about. So that's that's a fun and funky thing. I'm also about to eat this orange because um, I've still got a sore throat. And oranges are great for vitamin C. Update again, I'm now in the car. Today has been one of those days where I've just been like in and out of the house all day, like running around. Bitty. Bitty kind of days where you're getting stuff done, but none of it's that fun. Like, for example, right now we're currently heading to the dentist. <laughs> One of those things you need to get done, but nobody really thinks, oh, I'm so excited, I'm going to the dentist. Especially my mum. You hate the dentist, don't you? You're the passion. It's like her it's number one biggest dentist. fear. Our dentist is very nice. Yes, he is a nice guy. But I absolutely am a big baby when it comes yeah, to Yeah, you don't like it. We're meeting my brother there because he's been at school, so... We have. Well, hopefully he's remembered, yeah. We're just heading there now. And then I'm going straight from the dentist to the train station where I'm going back to Leeds, so I've got like a load of stuff with me, such random stuff in my bag. I'm very all over the place today, but... The dentist is the next on the list of things I need to get done. And then I'm meeting my friend Ailey, as I mentioned, as soon as I get into Leeds, and we are kind of like going for dinner and cinema tonight. that film was quite spontaneous because that wasn't the film we intended to go and see. I can't even remember the name of the film we were going to go and see. With oh, it's called. Rock, it? Oh yeah, yeah, The Rock. Um, but anyway, we ended up going to see What Men Want and it was actually really funny, wasn't it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. I feel like we've done film reviews while walking down here before. Yeah, yeah, um, but yeah, it was, it was better than The Grinch, that though, I think. Yeah, a lot It was better. funny. It is like, kind of like, obviously, adult um, comedy, but it was funny, and I think you should go and see it. It's quite a good chick flick. I imagine in a couple of months it'll be on Netflix. Yeah, probably. And it'll, be it like, like one of it'll be like one of those things that people start watching, so. Yeah, it was good. It's been, it's been a nice evening. I'm very full. We managed to eat yeah. all of our, um, can we cross the road? Let's just do it. <laughs> we managed to eat all of our snack boxes, um, although I feel like you got loads of popcorn. Yeah, like I thought it was gonna be like it's a really so much more worth your money to get that than it is to buy just popcorn, popcorn, which was like popcorn more than a drink of. Yeah. But yeah, would recommend it was good. And now we're just walking back and it's quite cold. I look rough, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. I've just got back to my flat now and had a really quick like body shower. I'm gonna go to sleep. So if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. I know this vlog was quite a chill one, not that much has happened. I am working towards my deadline at the moment. Also, please ignore my skin. Hence my skin actually, the deadline, the illness. Um, I just haven't been feeling amazing the last couple of days, but I've tried to vlog anyway. I will be back tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. with another vlog. Hopefully it'll be more entertaining entertaining because my deadline is actually Friday so I'll be like finishing all my university stuff and if you're into the uni kind of content that vlog will be for you. I say my deadline's Friday, technically my deadline is after Easter but I have set myself the deadline of before Easter because I know I have a lot on over the break that I don't really want to be doing. Um, also I know I had this top on earlier in the week. I didn't bring a pyjama top back so I figured I'd just wear this one. So true student vlogger. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more content and yeah thank you by the way if you are a new subscriber. I've gained so many subscribers this week. It's kind of weird. Uh, very unlike my channel, but hey, welcome. This is the reality. And yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back tomorrow at 11am. Subscribe to see more. Give it a thumbs up. And yeah, bye.